Hey everybody, Robert back again, timing this 356. All right, what are we gonna talk about today? How to attract the right people to work with. How do I attract the right kind of clients to work with through my brand, through advertising? What do we do? How does it happen? So I'm gonna talk about that today in this video. So do me a favor, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And I'm gonna just tell you what I've done because it worked. And hopefully it'll give you some insights on what you can do to how to attract the right, to how to, how to attract the right clients to work with you, all right? Let's go. So there's a meme and it says $500 client and it says something to the effect of like, oh, this is my last money, I'm making it work, da 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 and they become kind of a nuisance. And then you have a high quality client that's like, I sent you the wire, it's done. You've probably seen that meme. The thing about that meme is that it's actually true. It's unfortunately true. Now, not all of them are like that, not all but I would say mass, a lot of them can be. And so how do you deal with that? Like, how do you attract that? What did I do? So for me, you know, if you look at the course of my business uh, from 2019 to today, which is 2023, you know, we were selling products that were great. They were high quality. They were awesome. Um, but they were not that expensive. They were like a thousand to three thousand uh, dollars. And so we were doing all this work. And then as we started going, I started thinking about, okay, well, what would a higher quality client want? Well, a higher quality client is thinking about a couple of things. They're thinking about obviously the benefits. They're thinking about the value, which everybody talks about, but they're really just thinking about how is this going to benefit me the fastest? and the most cost-effective way to do that. Now, if you could come up with a strategic pricing structure or model that speaks to a higher quality client, you're really winning the game. Now, it was funny, we've actually had a few people who, who in the past, really early on, we were trying to sell them a $3,000 product, and then it's like, well, we actually have this $60,000 product, and that person was interested in that. See, so some people, especially higher quality clients, they're used to paying money for good quality. You know, that's why they go stay at the Waldorf Astoria and not at Haraz. Okay, there's a difference. There's a big difference in experience. That's why you pay for business class on a long overseas flight than an economy ticket. There is a different experience. And if you've flown business class on a long haul flight, you know. Okay, versus economy, right? And look, it's everybody's situation is different, but if you want to attract the right people to work with you, that all begins with yourself, okay? So number one, it begins with your level of ethics, okay? What is it and how is it that you act during the day? Are you nice to people? And by nice, I don't mean that. I mean, are you kind? Are you respectful? Are you strong when you need to be strong? Do you keep your word? Do you say the things that you're gonna, do you say things that you mean? And do you actually get things done? You know, are you ethical in your relationships? Uh, do you drink? Do you party? Do you smoke weed? Okay, if you're smoking weed, knock it off. Okay, slowing you down on purpose, right? High quality clients, big high quality clients probably aren't gonna act like that. And so you have to become what you think and see a high quality client being. And then you have to analyze every one of your digital properties and say, does this actually communicate high quality? Am I actually communicating to the right people that I want? I love these influencers on social media that are trying to sell social media marketing and they're all the same. They wear the gray sweatshirt with the black sweatpants, the white sneakers, they're in front of a matte blacked out car they're in Dubai or they're traveling around. 
if I see that, I just don't even, if somebody approaches me and I look at their social media and that's what I see, I'm already not interested, right? That's just not who I wanna associate myself with. I wanna associate myself with the appearance of luxury, high end. What does a high quality client want? There's a reason why they spend the money on a Louis Vuitton bag over something else, okay? You have to think like them. You have to act like them. You have to promote yourself <clears throat> like that. You have to have adult conversations. You have to be able to communicate effectively to attract that type of an individual. And that translates into the value that you pack into your product or packages and the pricing model that you have. Now, I'm not saying this to discriminate against everyone. I'm saying this if you're trying to go after those types of clients this is the way you have to think and how I think about it, okay? It's not a mass game for me. It's a, I'm looking for a very specific type of individual with a few key indicators based on how I present myself in the marketplace who I want them to align with me, right? It's not just me trying to sell a deal and get the deal done. It's also, does this make sense to me? Does it fit within the ecosystem that I have built for myself, for my company, for my brand, does it fit within that? So if you can coalesce all of that into who you are and how you act and what you do in the marketplace, you're going to attract those high ticket clients because you embody what a high ticket client is looking for. Now, do you have to dress and wear all the Gucci and the Versace and the Louis Vuitton? Absolutely not. But if you're presentable, you're professional, you exude quality, you exude wealth, you exude that appearance, you will attract the right kind of person. Now you may, if you watch my other videos, attract some people who are gonna hate you for that, whatever, but that's not the person you want to align yourself with. You're doing this because you have a very strategic approach on who you want to align yourself with and why. And that is the benefit of <clears throat> really analyzing what these people are how they act, what do they want, and how you can embody what it is that they're looking for. You can give them that experience that they're looking for as opposed to maybe not showcasing that. It's just so funny to me when people are like, I don't understand why I attract these kinds of people. It's because you are the result of that attraction. You generated that attraction. You brought that attraction to yourself. You are the responsible point for why that individual has come into your world and why you have what you have because you're the responsible one for it. So how do I attract those clients? I hope this video kind of gives you some insight into how I think about that, what you could do with it, why it's so beneficial and help take you to the next level, all right? Really do appreciate you guys. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share, and I'll talk to you next time. Hey guys, thanks for dropping by and subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We're trying to grow this thing and help as many people as we possibly can. Look, we've got programs for everyone, okay? We've got our 90-day content accelerator program where we fly out to you and shoot 90 days worth of content in four to six hours. We edit all that content, and then we do the social media posting on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, manage your advertising campaigns, your email campaigns, build you a fully functional website with a full funnel, everything you need in a box. We have our Content Accelerator Catalyst program, which is a beefed up version of the Content Accelerator, which is one year worth of content, a custom CRM. You know, we're talking 1,200 photos, 240 videos, 240 reels, 1,200 photos, 800 graphics, 90, like every social media platform managed, custom CRM website development. We do individual monthly packages. We've got training programs on sales for advertising. We've got creativity training programs. We have marketing training programs, social media training programs, and we do web design. So if you're looking for something on the digital front, me and my team here at Cislo Ventures can help you. I appreciate you subscribing today. Please come on back. If there's anything I can do to help you, please feel free to reach out. Check us out at cislowventures.com. Look forward to seeing you in our next piece of content. Thank you. Oh,